Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Gary and thanks for joining me today for this look at probably the uh, signature Smiths track, This Charming Man. Um, recently one of the subscribers to my channel asked me to do a lesson on You Just Haven't Earned It Yet Baby um, and I did that last week so if you haven't seen that already then please take a look. Uh, I've also got How Soon Is Now um, as a lesson too. Uh, but playing um, You Just Haven't Earned It Yet Baby last week really made me get back into uh, playing some of the, the Smiths parts and so this week I've decided to put a lesson out on This Charming Man where there are a number of lessons I've seen online, um, some better than others um, so what I wanted to try and do is bring something all together in one place which I hope is pretty accurate and pretty representative of the track. Um, this track was recorded originally with uh, Johnny Marr's guitar was tuned up a couple of uh, steps so it's actually in F sharp. Now if you want to play it in the actual key of the record then you will just need to capo up to the second fret uh, and everything I'm going to show you you can just move it up a couple of steps but um, retuning whole instruments um, it can start to affect uh, the setup of the guitar um, you know, it's it's probably f f for just one song. I decided just to show you this lesson in standard tuning with no capo. So what I'm going to show you, all, all the the positions on the neck are exactly as they were played on the song. Um, but just bear in mind that on the song the guitar was tuned up two steps. So all you need to do is move all this up if you want to be in the same key. Um, this is still a new channel. I really hope you're enjoying it. I've had some great feedback from people. I'm really trying to grow it. Um, so please do let me know your comments and please please give me a like if you're enjoying the the lessons um, please do subscribe of course it's free to subscribe uh, it just means that you get to see new videos when I put them out anyway let's get nice and close up for this one okay so there we go we're nice and up close now and hopefully you can see everything clearly uh, tone wise I've got a little bit of gain through the amplifier, um, just breaking up slightly. Uh, I've also got um, a chorus pedal, um, I've got a reverb through the amplifier, just to try and get that jangly sound. Um. That's the kind of sound we're after so that you can still hear individual notes. Um, we don't want it mushy, we want a nice and bright and jangly sound. Okay, so first of all, we'll look at that signature introduction part. Um, throughout this song, there are lots of um, arpeggios and triads. There are some full strummed chords later on in the song towards the end, but much of the song is picking individual strings or two or three of the strings. Um, so I'll just play through each section slowly and then we'll break it down. I'll explain what I'm doing as we go along. So for the introduction then, very slowly, we have this. So all I'm doing there is holding down B12 and G12 and just strumming down twice. Then I'm going down to B10 and G11 and again two downward strums there. And then I take that shape up to B13 and G12. So we've got this. Okay, so when we're playing these opening phrases, uh, one tip is to try and keep each piece separately punctuated. There are times in this song where you want the notes to ring out and jangle uh, together, but in this bit, you want separate parts. So you can do that by just muting between each phrase with uh, the sort of fleshy part of your right hand, or just easing the pressure on your left hand on the strings in between each piece. So from the top, we've got this. And then we slide that up to the 12th fret 
and we hit the first string of the 12th fret as well. Then I'm going to put my pinky on the first string of the 10th fret and just hit that twice before um, just playing three notes here on the 7th fret. The reason I'm using my pinky there is so that my hand's already in position for the next bit. And then put my pinky back down on the B string at the 10th fret. So, so far from the top we've got this. Okay, the next part of the introduction goes like this. Um, I would say that the introduction is probably uh, the most complex part really and if you can get this part down some of the parts are used elsewhere in the song um, the the main verses and the choruses uh, are easier um, so bear with me on this one as we go through it um, but it's you know, it's important to, to get the detail right on these so I'll just take it from the top and then we'll look at the next section <laughs> to this um, sort of triad position here um, so I've got my third finger on the G string at the ninth fret hit that twice then the B string at the eighth fret back to the G string at the ninth and then the first string at the seventh fret And then what I'm going to do is take my first finger off that first string and play it open. Then we hit the G string again. And the B string. And then I'm holding down with my pinky the B string at the 10th fret. going to feature in, in, in other parts of the song. And what we do, we slide up, but we also re-pluck um, the, the G string as we do so. So, open first string and then the B string there at the 10th fret. The final section of our introduction goes like this. I'll play it through slowly and then we'll break it down. So there I'm just going back to our um, double note positions like we had at the very start. B10, G11. Sliding up to the 12th fret of the G and just striking the G, individual G note again there. And then I'm also hitting the B string at the 12th fret. Back to the first position. And then we're back to uh, B13, G12. to the 12th fret position then I'm holding down sliding up again there I'm holding the first string at the 12th fret and then we're finishing on this it's sort of a, it's a chord I've just got um, E10 and B7 those are all the parts of the introduction I'll play them through slowly from the top
got that far, then you're doing pretty well. The rest of it's easier, I promise you. <laughs> okay, just, just a couple of technique tips on that introduction before we move on to the verse. I talked before about punctuating these phrases. Um, you can also add in just almost percussive sounds by muting the strings in between. Like that, it's very, very slight. Just that little bit in between. Um, just adds to the, the sort of feel of the song. Um, I've not talked about every up and down stroke. I'm guessing that if you're watching this lesson, you, you know, you're already comfortable with finding the rhythm for the strumming. Uh, but, um, you know, do look at, I've played the, the parts through slowly, so you should be able to pick up how I um, strum these parts from that. It's very difficult, it'll be too much, I think, for everybody to, to talk about all that as well as the notes. So next we'll look at the verse. Okay, so we've got through the introduction, we finish on this, and then we're into our, uh, it's an E minor triad here, so um, I've got um, E7, B8, and G9. We play the G twice, up to the B, then on to the E. Open E as we did before in the introduction. G string again there. That's our B string up to the B10. So that's the same as we did before. And then what we do is slide that up, it's again similar to what we did before, but it is slightly different this time. So an open E string there. And then I'm going to slide up my uh, second and third fingers again similar to what we did before but this time it's just two open strings uh, the E and the B gives you time to get back down to the next bit. To recap, when we played that in the introduction, it was slightly different, it was this. Hitting the, the G um, 11 twice there. second finger down on B10. So I hope you can just see that subtle difference between the way we play that uh, that last section in the introduction and how we do it in the verse uh, because in the verse it just finishing with these two open strings it just gives us time to to get back down to the next section. slide up from G2 to G4 and then B3 and an open G string. Pluck it twice. Hit B3 twice. Now, unlike 
the introduction where I was talking about playing quite syncopated, punctuated parts. Here you can let these notes jangle and chime out really uh, together, it sounds better. <laughs> Then we go up to the seventh position, and I've got B7 and G7, two on the B, open E, back to the B, and then we're back into our. That goes, you know, just listen to the uh, the record for the, the number of repeats uh, for that part. But that's the uh, that's the main verse part. So I'll just play through the whole verse section slowly from when we come in. such a, a really great guitar part this it's one I've always I've always loved um, and it's amazing really when you think I um, mean Johnny's a great player but he was so young when he wrote this as well it's, it's really is a, an impressive piece of guitar playing the chorus section features a series of arpeggio chords and uh, they're more in time um, you know you do just one two three four one two three four when we plot them so the timing's easier uh, we come into it um, as we, you know, I'll just, I'll just play the last phrase of the verse. And then we're into the first position, which is um, a C triad, really, and it's like this. One, two, three, four. So I'm just holding B8. G9 and D10. Just playing those individually uh, from the, the D string. We then take that to a B minor triad, which is. So I've got um, B7. G7, barring those with my, my first finger, and then I'm holding D9 with my third finger. Hopefully you can see that. just slide that up to the 12th position so it becomes uh, an E minor triad really actually yeah, you, you, it's very slightly different there instead of playing the, uh, the G string again at the end you finish with an open B string so subtle difference So far we've got this. Okay. And then we have um, it's what would be an A9 chord. So I'm just holding down A12, D11, and then I'm barring with my third finger um, B and G at 12. And just raking down the strings from the A string. And then we play those uh, positions again from the C triad. This time I'm putting my pinky on at the 10th fret of the 1st string. 
back to the A9 and again I'm holding the, the high note on the 12th fret so I'm sort of barring across uh, strings 1 to 3 with my 3rd finger. I'll play that section through slowly in full. Next we come into, we've got our E string ringing out there, we come into an E minor 7 shape a bar chord, 7th position there, barring strings 1 to 5, and then just holding down uh, B8 and D9. And just pull that suspension on and off, holding the bar. Strumming down and up, strumming is important here really. some percussion into this part of your play. And then we go to um, a C major 7 chord, so I'm holding down, barring 1 to 5 at the 3rd fret, I'm holding G4, B5 and D5. And we just slide that up to D major 7. To end the song, it just finishes on the E7 there, you can slide off or just finish it there. So there we go, those are all the guitar parts to This Charming Man. There are some overlays and um, additional guitar parts on the recording, but what I've showed you there is you know, the real nuts and bolts of the song. It's, uh, it will get you through if you're playing that in a band live, uh, and it's great fun to play. So I really hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Please do let me know your comments, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy your guitar playing, and I'll see you soon.